Well, hello everyone. I at 0386SX, and today we're going to take you through getting this to work on a compact concerto running Windows 95. So technically speaking, this would be the Windows for Pen Services 2.0. Although there wasn't really anything official from what I can gather with that. It's just a, a driver collection. So if you're doing this with the concerto, you need to download SP1354EXE. I can put a link uh, for that in the description, so that way you don't have to go search for it like I did. Now, I do have a wireless mouse on here already. Uh, I, I know, not really, but uh, it's a wireless mouse. It's an infrared one. you got to basically have the receiver six inches away from the mouse. But I'm going to go th through one little haha -ha funny thing. Okay, I think it's haha -ha funny, but maybe it's haha -ha stupid, but. This is the floppy that spits out when you make SP1354. It's a compact, one of their soft packs that you got to create on a 32 bit system. Yeah, not, uh, not ideal, but well, I didn't think about it at first, but. Then to, let's say, Microsoft and Compact didn't account for 64-bit operating systems, which, well, 1995, not going to. See, this readme.first, well, let's click on readme.first. Uh-oh, what do we open this with? Well, it's just a, it's just a notepad. It, it's just a text document that just, Compact just decided to make it more complicated than it needed to be, so... So here we go. So here tells you right now it's not supported by a compact pre-install or a compact upgrade for Windows 95. And uh, yeah, comp compact basically said, well, enough of you complained, so here you go. Uh, this, uh, what you see is what you get. We're doing this once. If you don't like it, too bad. And this basically gives you the instructions on how to install said software. Da -da. But anywho, let's go through it. We have our floppy installed. So you'll go to Control Panel, go to Add and Remove Programs. Then you want to hit up Windows Setup. This is I've only ever had to use this twice on two systems. This uh, have disk in Windows Setup. And I think the other one was the LTE 5000 to install its pack. But anywho, so you're going to install the manufacturer's disk, which we just uh, made. Or I assume you just made. And then you get pen services. Let that do its thing. But yes, this is technically Windows for Pen Computing 2.0. And uh, we'll think this, uh, this form right here on vcfed.org uh, for this. The pen drivers were in the beta version of Windows 95. But, anywho. But it's definitely a soft pack. We're still definitely using the Microsoft mouse, so we'll press OK to this once that dialog disappears. And, I, yep, that confirms that. We have a restart on our hands, so we will restart it. Take the floppy out of the disk at drive. And we'll let this thing uh, do its bidding here. Yep. 
there'll be another dialogue that actually comes up, so we'll have to concern ourselves with that when we get to that point. I do have a CF, uh, PCMCIA to CF adapter in the system right now, so that's where feedback comes from. And this window will pop up. And this is the pen driver configuration catalog. And this is where you select a tablet manufacturer. There's only one option. And once you select it, all the other options go away. So you press OK. And you will have to restart your system once again. Again, not ideal, but this is what we have to do. And still going. I have a little bit that I have on this multitasking part of our tour here. And we are still on the the Microsoft mouse, but you notice some options came up. So now we have a pen option. Before we restart the system, let's see if we can do anything with it. And this will just generally tell you, you gotta select if you're left-handed or right-handed, menu style. And I didn't do anything with this, of course, so. Recognize handwriting after short pause. Enable writing in, ooh, that could be, that could be fun. Yep, and if you go to pen options, that just selects what driver you want. Show cursor while writing. Ink width, ink width thin by default, and your color, which eh, it doesn't really do much on a concerto, but double tap on the grid. Well, we can't do that yet, because we gotta restart. So let's restart before we do anything else. We'll go to the pen services, you've got the handwriting trainer, you have the on-screen keyboard, and you have a writing palette. So let's uh, restart and let's see what we can do with them. There's not a lot to the software itself, but it's... Uh, if you actually want to use the pen, that's what you got to do. I'll wait for this to start up. I don't know if this will be any good with Windows 95B, the uh, OSR2, or later. I don't even know if you can get Windows 98 on this. Period. I don't know what the maximum memory is on this. I know I got one of these lurking with 8 megs of RAM somewhere. But pretty soon you will notice uh, we'll wait for this to stop loading before we move the mouse. So I'm now moving the Microsoft mouse and absolutely nothing is happening. So that's working. And oop, hold on, pen services. Let's see we can do here. So that's your writing palette. And this is going to be a little bit awkward, but we're going to try it. When we move the keyboard out, the physical keyboard out of the way, we'll see what happens. It doesn't exactly recognize anything, but or do I have to press the pen down? Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. I do. Okay. I detected the T. That's not good. For... Okay, well... Not perfect. All right, let's do another. Not 
that right. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay, if, that, if it gets that S, I'll be surprised. But there it is. That's supposed to be all hail Emperor Clavosaurus, but uh, I, apparently Compact doesn't watch The Simpsons, so that's what we got there. So let's go back to Penn Services and let's see what handwriting trainer's all about. It started okay. Alright, and press train to train. Next word. Good. Next. I'll pack its box. <laughs> okay, 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 that's enough of that, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much, uh, try the on-screen keyboard once. And there's your on-screen keyboard. You don't have a word processor on here, other than WordPad. So that's what we'll sit and chill with. I do want to put some kind of office or corral product on here before Tuesday when uh, this uh, little old computer makes its way up to uh, uh, a Starbucks in central Wisconsin. I don't know which one yet that I'm going to go to, but I know I don't get near areas with Starbucks very often, so this will be, it'll be nice to get out. And in fact, I almost never go to Starbucks, but Okay. Oops. Uh, oh, there we go. Well, I'll tell you what. It's not any worse than what I do with uh, with uh, texting on a modern day iPhone. So I have that going for me. But but yeah, that is in a nutshell. Windows Pen Computing 2.0. And anything else that has that capability will look very similar to that. So this is just what it happens to be for the Concerto. But anywho, once I get a word processor of some sorts on this system, it'll be ready for uh, talking documentation up in the Starbucks or whatever one I decide to choose and hopefully get some weird looks and go from there. But that's gonna be it for now. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or constructive criticism, as always, you may put them in the comment section as you wish. If you didn't like this video, please like it. Uh, if you dislike it, uh, please press that dislike button twice. Once doesn't prove a message, two sends a message. So, but uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, have yourselves a good one.